what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the film Barbie now this is a live action film based on the Barbie fashion dolls by Mattel and you have a Margot Robbie in the role of Barbie and you also have a Ryan Gosling in the role of Ken now the film itself is basically about them two on a journey supposedly of like self-discovery because this film also has like a Barbie like world where like they're living like this Barbie like toy type world. It looks, it looks pretty cool. I must admit that's when, really when the film is actually like very fun and exciting. But then they have moments where they have to go to like, the real world to find out about like, the, the makers and all that kind of stuff like that. But uh, in the end, uh, I, I feel like it was dragging at times, but I thought this was still like a pretty uh, entertaining film and kind of like funny too as well. So yeah, the film is basically about like Barbie. She's living like her like day-to-day -day world. You know, and what's, one thing that's cool about it is like the world of Barbie, you know, I like how they did make it look. It looks very like, like it's made of like, like in a toy type world. You can just see that when she wakes up every morning, she sees all her fellow like Barbies. And one thing I thought was kind of interesting about it too, like all her female friends, but well, most of all the female characters are named Barbie. Just like all the guys are named like Ken, but it's like various different versions of the Barbie and various different versions of the Ken. So yeah, she wakes up every morning, she has like her breakfast and so on, and when you, see, when you see her like drink and eat, it's nothing really there, so I thought that was kind of cool, like when she drinks like, I think her milk or something like that, you can tell she's drinking from like an empty cup, so I thought that was kind of cool, just like that when the kids are making believe, like with their fashion dolls and whatever, you know, they make it like the, the dolls aren't drinking, but they really aren't drinking any fluid, so I thought that was kind of cool that they say the truth to stuff like that. Now the film is directed by uh, Greta Gerwig, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. And again, you do have a uh, Margaret Robbie in the role of Barbie, and then you also have a uh, Ryan Gosling in the role of uh, Ken. Now you also have a uh, Simo Lu who plays a particular version of Ken. I think he's known as the uh, Tourist Ken. And there's also other characters like uh, you have John Cena who shows up as a uh, Merman Merman Ken. You also have a uh, Michael Cera who plays like a, this character known as a uh, Alan. There's like tons of people, and then you have Will Ferrell who plays the CEO of Mattel. Because I, I guess you could say when you, when you want to look at like an antagonist of the film, it does seem like his character is kind of like the, uh, the antagonist of the villain kind of somewhat of the film. Because at one point when Barbara travels to like the real world, and you can see her like going all through these different like phases of like the Barbara world, and then she eventually shows up like in the real world. So I read that, that kind of stuff like that when it was jumping from like the real world to like the Barbara world, I was kind of confused with that. And I guess that is what kind of goes on. With like the Barbie like line of like dogs, you know, I wasn't really too familiar with that. Throughout the film, there's a narrator who like narrates the film, and she's played by uh, Helen uh, Mirren. I think that's how you pronounce her name. But as the film goes on, like as Barbie wakes up and do her daily and daily routines, she eventually like wakes up and realizes that you know she's like getting like cellulite on her body, and her feet has gone flat because when she walks in her house, here's her <laughs> her feet kind of stay up. I, it, it's it's kind of odd. I, I, if, if you like, uh, I'll just leave it at that because it's like, it's like weird, you know. But she starts seeing that that kind of stuff is going on with her and she is questioning like her mortality, you know. She actually realizes that, you know, like, the idea of like dying and so on because like real people in the real world, like we really die and so on. But like the Barbie fashion dolls, they're like, they're immortal, they're going on forever and ever. So she has to meet like this uh, person known as the Weird Barbie and she's played by uh, Kate McKinnon because her character was kind of like funny too, interesting as well too. So like she's the one I think that suggests what she should do about going to the real world and all that kind of stuff if I can remember correctly. So Barbie and Ken eventually do go to the real world so and then eventually their relationship begins like fall apart. He believes that she be, they should go their own ways and have like their own separate like, relationships and so on. So all that kind of stuff that's what goes on constantly throughout the film. And there's like a lot of like musical type moments in the movie too as well. But like I say, when it really takes off and shines, is when it really was like in the Barbie world. I thought moments like that were kind of like funny, like hilarious. How you can say the world, the made-up world, like the car that she drives in and so on. Like the look of like the sky, the scenery that surrounds them is like make-believe. So I thought that was kind of cool and like humorous. Because Margot Robbie, I thought she was awesome as a Barbie too. Like her performance, I thought she did a pretty good job. Even uh, Ryan Gosling as Ken, like he's like ripped up and so on. So I thought all that kind of stuff was pretty cool too. Now, uh, as the film goes on, like I say, once it gets to like, the real world moments, I thought those moments were they're kind of like drag somewhat, everything. And it was kind of like confusing being that so the real world does know that Barbie's like really real, you know. Like this this particular universe guy wasn't really familiar, but you could tell like that the universe that they're in, they're both like connecting. They know that Barbie's a doll and Barbie knows that they are real human people and she's not really a human, she's really like just a doll. So all that kind of stuff was kind of like interesting, you know, I, I wasn't really familiar with that. But in the end, overall... I think it is like an exciting and a fun film just to look at. So I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, I feel like it was kind of dragging, you know, at times. I feel like it was too long, too, as well. But in, um, 
Barbie, I'm gonna get us a B minus. Now, definitely, like, I mean, if I guess fans would like the doll, so I guess there's like a lot of references to the fashion doll and stuff too throughout the film. You know, that I wasn't really too familiar with. You know, but I'm gonna give us a B minus. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.